Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener. Today we're going to look at outdoor kitchens. Now, this is how we're going to build a modular outdoor kitchen. Now, there are a couple of different ways to build outdoor kitchens. You can use CMU Block, and I've done many of those. And the great thing about those is those are a little less expensive than doing modular but they're a little bit less flexible as far as design ability. So this is a modular steel framed outdoor kitchen and we're gonna kinda of walk you through all the steps of how this is done. It is a little trickier than a CMU block so usually you wanna have professionals do this but it's not so impossible. Now the first thing you want to do of course is you need a design on what you want to have in your kitchen. This one uh, was started out in a rough drawing that I did that they then took it to a barbecue specialist, the great guys at the Barbecue Grill Outlet here in Southern California. They in turn expanded it out to exactly how many steel frame pieces and what kind of pieces. And so these metal pieces, these are actually aluminum, were brought in into that spot. And now, the tricky part about this um, is that once you bring the aluminum in, you then have to start making adjustments. Note that the house had certain drains, holes, GFI outlets, things that they had to make cuts in the aluminum frame and work around. It is definitely faster than it is with a CMU block to cut the block around certain things. So the frame went in in just one day. This was a very fast process to get the frame in uh, all the way around, make sure it's carefully leveled up. The next day, they came in with the cement boards. Now, this is the backer board, and this is what the stone facade or stucco or anything, you know, the outside facade is going to grip to. These are screwed in with these metal screws. And again, cement board is really easy to cut with a masonry saw to custom cut it to fit all the little nooks and crannies. Now, I also want to point out something that's important. Notice that it's going in the flooring sections as well. So anywhere you go around this, you want to kind of protect the floor of this. And so when we did this kitchen, we had to first lay all the tile in and then mount it through the uh, tile onto that and then protect the tile with the backer board. And the reason to do this is if for some reason way down the road they want to change it all out, the tile doesn't get damaged. So you got to put the backer board everywhere including the floor inside the kitchen itself. All right. Now, you might notice that last one, they started to install the drawers. So first thing I'm going to do is put the drawers in, and now it's time to actually put the stone facade on. Now, this particular client picked this wonderful facade from MSI, comes in panels, and that makes it go a lot faster as far as installing it on here. You use some basic uh, mortar material, mortar mix, to cement this right to the backer board. And as you've seen in other videos that I've done, there are lots of different wonderful facades out there. Again, this one comes from MSI. MSI is a really good source for different kinds of facades for walls, for barbecues, all kinds of really neat stuff. And again, it just kind of goes on it like that. And there is the finished result. All the facade is on. Now, the same process goes for putting the tile on. You can put, use the tile. You can use... Um, different kinds of uh, granite, lots of different ways to cover that. This particular one, they chose a very nice complimentary tile, also from MSI, to put the top. Now, in this particular kitchen, they wanted a really nice uh, wall backing, and so they picked a really beautiful one as well. It kind of complements the look of the entire property. After that is done, then it's time, of course, to put in the outlets. And here is the finished product with all of the decorations on the wall as well. So that's uh, basically the process. Again, thank you so much to the folks at Barbecue Grill Outlet and also Unique Landscaping. Unique Landscaping did all the facade work and tile work on top of the outdoor kitchen. And there you go. And there's uh, contact information for both of those groups in the video description. Well, that's all the time we have for today. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my videos to help you with your landscape. Until next time, this is Doug saying thanks so much for watching.